Welcome to Ticket to Ride. Doesn't it look beautiful? And I'm not going to sing that song. It's copyright now. It's for two to five players and it works equally well with any number. It's a bit different with different numbers though. You've got a scoring track going around the outside, around the outside. Uh, you've got your trains. My color is blue because I'm a boy. And uh, you start by choosing three tickets, picking two of them. Now I've chosen these two. So Saint Marie to Nashville. If I connect those two cities any way I want, at the end of the game I get eight points. It's secret till the end whether I get there or not. And I also chose Boston to Miami because out of the three I got, they were sort of close together. So I might be able to link all four cities in one route because at the end of the game, the longest route of all, all over the whole map, uh, wherever you go, if your trains are connected, the longest gets an extra 10 points. On your turn, oh, you start with some cards too, but on your turn, uh, you either pick up carriage cars or lay down trains or choose new tickets. You will choose new tickets because you've got, you finished the ones in here or because you're not gonna finish the ones in here. Because once you show where you're going, other people, if they're so inclined, might put their trains in your way. It's up to them to decide whether they want to score points or restrict your points. Okay, so let's say, oh, I started with two locomotives. They're wild cards and a black. Now remember I wanted to get around here. Okay, I could right now lay these three here because I got a black and two wilds and these are black and I put down three carriages. Let's just say I did that even though I wouldn't because I'm better than that. One, two, three. I discarded the cards. And now based on this chart, a three carriage train gets me four points. Basically, the longer your, your chunk of trains, it's from one to six, the more points you get. A one line train, which would go, not there, here, that gets you one point. But a six line train, tuk, 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 gets you 15 points. Okay, then the next person might go and instead of laying down for their turn, they might pick two trains. If you take a wild, a locomotive, you only take the one. But if you want to take two, you can take from either the face up or the deck. So just say they're trying to go for pink, they'll take that, gets refilled. Not another pink, I don't know, I'll just get from the deck. Okay? And they'll add that to their chest. Whatever. Now when you build, you'll notice some have colors, which means you have to play that color card to go there, but some are gray, which means you can play any colors, but it still has to be a set. So two orange or yellow or pink or blue or green, right? Um, you've also got these double tracks. If you're playing four or five players, two people can go there. But if you're playing two or three, just one person can go there. It takes a couple of plays to get to know the map, to get to know how and when to block and what routes to go for. But it's very simple. You either take cards, play trains, get new tickets. And by the end of the game, it looks really cool to have all these toot toots all over the map map. Oh, he's gonna block him. Don't have time to show you all of it because it's ticket to ride, because it's David's board shorts and we try to be short. But uh, if you got any questions, you can ask me. Ticket to ride, ticket to ride, ticket to ride, ticket to ride was one of the first hobby board games I bought. Uh, and now you can get it pretty much anywhere that sells games. It's really made a splash. It sold millions of dollar, millions of copies in the 10 years since it came out. Uh, it's very simple to grasp. It looks great. Uh, and it's something that you can play nicely, just put out your train track, score points, or mean and block other people. You can play it mean and block other people. Now there's lots and lots of different versions now. There's the normal Ticket to Ride that I showed you, Ticket to Ride Europe, Ticket to Ride Markland, which is Germany. There's the Netherlands, Switzerland, Asia, it goes on and on and on. 
Many of those need a copy of the base game. They don't come with the trains and the cards, but they come with the maps and the extra rules. I suggest start with this one. It's easy to find. It's lots of fun. There's not a lot of meat, but there's a lot of fun, and you could play it every day until, for, for a long time, if it's your thing. Okay, now I'm rambling. Now, rambling is something I was trying to avoid in all my reviews, but it's come back. So, get Ticket to Ride. I'll do this one again. 